Today we are talking about six of the best smelling fragrances for the summer, okay? These are not gonna be the cheapest, most of these are gonna be on the higher end uh, price point for fragrances. These are the best smelling summer fragrances for men. Number one, Passivat by Nishani. This sometimes gets comparisons to the famous Creed Aventus. It's because this has pineapple in the opening and a woody structure. So you've got pineapple with woods. That's the general structure of the fragrance. But where this differs from Creed Aventus is this has a very green, strong and potent mossy note. So if you don't like that style of fragrance, I would steer clear of this because you have to really like that mossy green forest type feel to enjoy this. It does become a bit overbearing if you don't like it. But in terms of how this smells, it's very classy, it smells expensive and it's a really strong performer as well. So if you want to smell really great in the summer, Hashivat is a really great choice. This is number one. Number two from Parfums de Mali's, this is Sedley. So for me, this is the best smelling in the Parfums de Mali's fresh line. Of course, you've got Greenlee, you've got Percival, you've got the uh, the white one, I can't even remember what it's called now. Uh, but this for me is the, the best smelling in the, the fresh Parfums de Mali line. This is very minty and aromatic and you've got some herbal notes in here such as rosemary and, uh, and it goes aromatic with lavender. But I love the combination of mint and citruses. It's very energetic and I think for the summer we really want an energetic fragrance and it is quite powerful for a citrus fragrance. It doesn't last as long as Hasivat, it's not a beast mode like Hasivat is but it is powerful for a fresh fragrance. For me what I love about Sedley is it just smells expensive. They've mixed the citruses with the mint and with the woody notes with the aromatics really well and it smells like a really sophisticated, expensive and well put together fragrance. So number two, Parfums de Mali's Sedley. Up next, number three, Chanel Allure Homme Sport Cologne. Now, I don't see this or hear this being spoke about as often as it should. This sits under the radar, I think, for a lot of people when we talk about the Chanel Allure Homme Sport line. Most people go for the original or they go for the uh, oh, Extreme, both great fragrances. But this one's different. This is much more of a cologne style. That goes with the name, I guess. It has that almost like an old school feeling with a mix of citruses. You've got lots of different citruses in the opening, lots of orange, lots of lemon, bergamot. And what I love about this, it is extremely invigorating. This for me is a perfect out the shower fragrance. If you have had a hot day, perhaps at the beach, and you take a cool shower and you want something to really refresh you after that, I think Chanel's Allure Homme Sport does a brilliant job. And I actually prefer this to the uh, the two other Allure Homme Sports we mentioned a moment ago. This for me is the best in the line. The only issue is the performance doesn't last a long time. It is a cologne. Well, actually, it's an eau de toilette. It's called a cologne, that's the style of it, it's an eau de toilette, but it doesn't last very long, nor do any of the Allure Homme Sport line, but this one certainly doesn't last a long time, but it's not always the most important. Sometimes the smell makes up for it, and it does in this case. And at number four, probably the cheapest fragrance in this list, or at least the most affordable, this is Tour de Hermes Eau Givre. So, Eau Givre by Tony Hermes. So this is not as classic smelling as the rest of the Tony Hermes line. This is much more modern. This is more suitable for anyone. Whereas the original Tony Hermes line, I would say is for someone who is, is, is perhaps older, perhaps in their 30s, 40s and above, someone who is more well put together, someone more sophisticated. But this one can be worn by any age and it smells incredible. You have this beautiful citron note, which to me smells like a very realistic grapefruit, you've got woody notes, you've got mineral notes as well which give it this really futuristic, almost clean smelling, it's clean feeling. The original Terre de Hermes DNA is in here, it's buried deep, we haven't got that screechy, sometimes challenging vetiver note in here, but it's a really easy to wear, beautiful fresh fragrance. The uh, most affordable out of this list um, is of course still not cheap, but it's, uh, it's cheaper than the other fragrances in this list and I think it's a great fragrance to wear for the summer. It just smells very realistic and I love realistic citrus fragrances uh, which a lot of this list uh, have those qualities. So number four, Terre de Hermes au Givlet. Talking about photorealistic citruses, this is what this has. This is 
Clone Cedrat by Mattia Premier. A beautiful fragrance, very realistic citrus, has bergamot, lemon, and citron. So a lot of different citruses blended together, and it has good lasting power, good staying power for a fresh fragrance. You do pay a lot of money for this fragrance, it's not cheap. Most of these are not cheap, but you get a beautiful uh, bottle, you get a, a beautiful smell, and you get a fantastic atomizer. I will try and show you the atomizer now, if you can see it. It's a beautiful atomizer and uh, I love the smell of this. This is one of those photorealistic uh, citrus fragrances that smell like you've cut up a load of citruses and buried your face in it. Absolutely beautiful and a really well, well a really worthy addition for my number five spot. Clone Cedrat by Mattia Plumier. So the last fragrance for me, the best smelling fragrance for summer is Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. I could have also put Imagination in here as well, but I've been speaking a lot about that and I haven't really mentioned Afternoon Swim yet. This is only citrus notes in here. You don't have any spices, particularly any woody backbone. It's just mainly citruses. Now, the, I'm gonna talk about the main issue first and that is the longevity. It does not perform very well on my skin, but the smell is outstanding it's amazing smell and that really does work in this favor against the longevity it's not always the most important thing especially in a fresh citrus fragrance the longevity is not always the most important thing the second thing is the price of course Louis Vuitton fragrances are not cheap so you really need to I would sample them before you before you buy if you can and really make sure you want to spend that much money on a fragrance but the smell is beautiful lots of citruses it goes a bit sweeter on my skin as well I wore it today I actually walked to the gym and I noticed after an hour or so, it went really sweet on my skin. It still had the fruity zestiness, but it then went a bit sweet and it was really enjoyable. And something that Louis Vuitton does with their fragrances, I'm not sure what the aroma chemicals are, but they latch onto my skin and they really project. All of their fragrances project really well on me. It's just the longevity on here is not amazing, but the smell is outstanding. I can't wait to wear this more in the summer. So my number one pick for summer 2023, Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know your favorite picks for the summer and I'll see you soon.